We are at Sammy's flower farm. He has grown beautiful roses and sunflowers. Why don't we learn subtraction of four and five digit numbers with two regroupings at his farm? Look, there are five thousand six hundred seventy three beautiful roses, out of which two thousand one hundred eighty six roses have been tied in bundles. Let us find out how many roses are still left to be tied. Here we can get the answer by finding the difference between five thousand six hundred seventy three and two thousand one hundred eighty six. So let us group both these numbers into thousands, hundreds, tens and ones and then subtract them. Thus there are five thousands, six hundreds, seven tens and three ones roses and out of these two thousands one hundred eight tens and six ones are tied up let us represent each thousand with a yellow dot each hundred with a green dot each ten with a red dot and each one with a blue dot. So, the number 5673 will be represented like this with dots. Now, let us cancel the dots equal to the digits in the subtrahend in each column. Starting with the dots in the ones column first, then the tens column, the hundreds column, and lastly the thousands column. Look, there are only three blue dots in the ones column, and we need to cancel six blue dots. We cannot subtract six from 3. So, we regroup 1 10 to 10 ones. Now, in the tens column, there are only 6 red dots left and we need to cancel 8 red dots. We cannot subtract 8 from 6. So, we regroup 100 to 10 tens. So now we represent 5673 with dots like this. Now let us cancel 6 blue dots, 8 red dots, 1 green dot, and 2 yellow dots. We are left with 7 blue, 8 red, 4 green and 3 yellow dots. So, we get in all 3 thousands, 4 hundreds, 8 tens and 7 ones, which is equal to 3,487. Thus, 3,487 roses are untied. Now, let us look at the process of subtraction of these numbers directly. Step 1. Subtract the digits in the ones column. As the ones are not enough, we regroup the tens. That is, seven tens and three ones 
is equal to 6 tenths and 13 ones. Therefore, 13 minus 6 is equal to 7 ones. Step 2. Subtract the digits in the tens column. Even here, the tens are not enough. So, we regroup the hundreds. That is, six hundreds and six tens is equal to five hundreds and sixteen tens. Therefore, sixteen minus eight is equal to eight tens. Step 3. Subtract the hundreds. That is, 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Step 4. Subtract the thousands. That is, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Yippee! We got the answer. 3,487. Thus, 5,673 minus 2,186 is equal to 3,487. Let us tie them up quickly and send them to the market. Look, there are 4,562 sunflower plants on the farm. Sammy picked up 1,386 sunflowers. Let us find out how many sunflowers are left in the farm. Here, we have to subtract 4,562 and 1,386 to find the answer. Subtract the ones, that is, 2 minus 6. As the ones are not enough, we regroup the tens, that is, 6 tens and 2 ones is equal to 5 tens and 12 ones. Therefore, 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Subtract the tens, that is, 5 minus 8. As the tens are not enough, we regroup the hundreds, that is, Five hundreds and five tens is equal to four hundreds and fifteen tens. Therefore, fifteen minus eight is equal to seven tens. Now, subtract the hundreds. That is, four minus three is equal to 1. Lastly, subtract the thousands. That is, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Thus, 4,562 minus 1,386 is equal to 3,176. Let us help Sammy pick up the remaining flowers and send them to the market.